Visions of Mana is the latest game from the Mana series that's been going on now for about 30 years. We've recently gotten a demo for Visions of Mana, which is available on Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and Steam. And in this video, I want to go over five things you need to change for the best playing experience. So the first thing you want to do is you obviously pause the game, uh, go to your settings, right? Which is down here on the right side. The first thing that I recommend changing is going over to control display. This will adjust the control display on the screen, which is self-explanatory. Uh, if you come out here in the game on the left side, uh, right above my, my thing here, you see all the buttons and stuff. You can turn it off and there's not really a reason to have it on. Uh, everything's pretty basic. You can keep it on for a little bit if you want to, uh, but I'd turn it off because it's just kind of in a way and there's no reason to have it on. So you confirm that. And now when you come back out here, it's gone and you have more screen and less uh, bloat on the screen. So the next thing I recommend turning on is auto run. This isn't really required, but uh, I, I, I like it and I think it's good to have one. Uh, it's off by default. What this does is this makes it to where if you double click your th left thumbstick when you're running, you will be able to just go forward it's similar to how you do in any like MMORPG or whatever so i'm just kind of chilling here and i'm just moving my my right stick to look around uh it's kind of handy if you're you know going long distances or whatever you can free this hand up for whatever whatever reason you know but i recommend turning it on uh because you know it's nice it's nice the third thing i recommend adjusting here is if you come to your settings go over to camera the camera distance this is this seems to be a, a me thing, but I do like playing zoomed out. So you, you have options here. You can do normal, which is what you are now. Uh, I play zoomed out because I like to see more of around me. Um, you do this and it, it does help a little bit, right? You, you see, you know, a little bit here. Or if you're a crazy person, you can zoom it all the way in. So we'll look at that and see what that looks like. See, you're, you're zoomed in more. You're close to your character and stuff. I, that's just not for me. Not for me. Uh, do I highly recommend turning this zoomed out uh, as far as possible, honestly. The next thing I want to talk about is um, also in camera settings, the screen vibration. This adjusts screen vibration settings. I always turn this off in any game uh, similar to the blur in like any RP or uh, F FPS game or RPG game or whatever. I turn off blur. I turn off screen vibration. I just I don't like it. It's kind of jarring. It, it makes me sick. I'm old. I guess i don't know but i always turn it off it just makes the screen not so shaky when you're attacking or being attacked or, or what have you so i highly recommend turning that off as well and then one of the other things that i want to talk about since we're here is audio um this by default i'll just reset all settings by default is eight eight and eight uh, i was playing a game and the character voices were hard to hear during battle and stuff because everything was so loud i always turn my characters up to almost max the sound effects four or five would be fine and BGM about seven. So you want those, I do about two point, three point increments or whatever. It makes makes it much better because you don't really need, you don't really need to hear the sound effects. The but music is always a plus. You want to hear that, but more importantly, you want to hear character voices. Unless you don't want to hear them, you can just you know turn it down lower if you want. But definitely do that. That'll help um, a ton with with like being able to hear the characters and stuff because sometimes it can be hard to hear them with the default settings. Everything at eight. Um, there's a few other settings you can kind of mess with here, like. If you don't want subtitles on, you can turn those off. You can turn who's speaking off. Text speed, if you want to speed through like um, dialogue and stuff that isn't spoken, um, that this you can turn it to instant where it just pops up instead of just loading in. There's that option as well. You can rotate your mini map if you're a crazy person and want to do that. That's just jarring to me, so that stays on. You can even turn a mini map off and you can turn your missions off where they won't show up on the side of the screen, which is uh, which is good. So there's a lot of things here. Another thing, uh, battle animations. This is for whenever you do class strikes. And class strikes are like pretty much like your limit break or your overdrive or whatever. You get a little thing at the bottom of your character here. Oh, wait, where's it at here? Uh, it is not shown here, of course. Um, can you see where I'm at? We're right at the corner of my screen. Oops, so on the side right here where it says 26. Um, there's a little blue gauge there. It says CS. That charges up. Once that charges up, you can do... I think it's RT compressed and you'll do like a, a big attack. It does, it plays the whole animation. You can turn that off to where it's just uh, instant and it doesn't do the whole fancy uh, moves and stuff like that. So there's there's a lot of things to mess with, but everything I talked about is kind of what I recommend doing. Um, it'll make the game much better, uh, at least a demo from, from what I've seen so far. Um, if you found this video helpful and would like more Visions of Mana guides, tips, and, and, and videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, as always, huge shout out to the YouTube members who support the channel. I appreciate you guys. And um, 
With that being said, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.